Harmony Modeling Suite is uh, essentially a web application. To access it, you have to navigate to the right URL on the browser and use the provided uh, username and password. I will now log in as a, a user. In the MS, a user can be uh, either a transport modeler or a planner or both. As a transport planner, the user is able to select uh, from uh, one or more uh, project uh, templates. You can see, for instance, uh, four different templates here. By selecting a template, the user can create a project, and after creating a project, the user can create one or more scenarios that belong to this project. This way, the planner can uh, very quickly compare different uh, runs and different options in their use cases. As a transportation modeler, the user is able to enhance the capabilities of the platform by creating new project templates. The project templates themselves are composed of uh, uh, components which correspond to transportation models or transportation simulators that users uh, can provide to the platform. One of the basic functionalities of the Harmony Modeling Suite is the creation of new projects. To do this, the user has to select uh, first uh, one of the available project templates. We see here demographic forecasting model, land use transportation, transport interaction, regional economy model demo, and uh, TFS, which stands for Tactical Freight Simulator Template. For illustration, uh, let's pick the one of them, for instance, the regional economy model demo, and click on this button, add project. This uh, brings us to a new screen where we are prompted uh, for a name for our project, a description for our new project, and then a number of uh, project template specific inputs. For instance, uh, the Project template of uh, regional economy model uh, has a numeric input called year out. And here we see a description uh, by placing our, our mouse on, on this uh, input. Um, and also has a number of uh, input files that need to be uploaded, 11. Um, and by clicking on this button here, we can uh, see a number of uh, the names of the files, but also the description of each file. So the user can uh, basically then select the files that need to be uploaded and drag and, and drop them to this area here. Once all the files are uploaded and a name and a description has been provided, then a project is created. Upon creating a project, the project that appears here, for instance, uh, there, is, uh, there are three projects uh, in the projects page, uh, TFS simulation, REM demo run, and TFM Athens. Also, together with creating a new project, the platform uh, creates a new default scenario for this project. So you can see that the three projects in the projects page all correspond to default scenarios in the scenarios page. The scenario is what is being run effectively by the platform. To run a scenario, you have to simply click on the start button here. Once the scenario finishes, uh, it is the, its state, it's marked as completed, and the progress uh, is 100%. The user can view the results of a scenario by clicking on the view button of the corresponding scenario line in the scenario page. Clicking with us on this button brings up the Harmony MS dashboard. The dashboard offers an overview of the scenarios that are run for this particular project on the left hand side. And on the main pane, it offers an overview of the name of the scenario, the description, 
And also by clicking on this button, the user can see uh, have an overview of the inputs provided for this particular scenario to be run and the outputs that were generated by the scenario run. Clicking on the outputs and also the inputs, the user can get more information about those uh, files or about those uh, parameters and also have a preview or download files. However, the main functionality of the dashboard is to show KPIs, key performance indicators, that uh, the user can actually select and um, customize uh, by, for instance, uh, enlarging them, making them smaller, or downloading the results of this particular KPI in CSV files. All of this is meant to help the user explore the data that were generated for this scenario. What is also possible uh, in the Harmony MS dashboard is to actually provide a comparative view over the runs of different scenarios. Adding to the capabilities of uh, transport uh, planners, transport modelers uh, within the modeling harmony modeling suite can not only select project templates and run projects based on them, collect results in scenarios and visualize them, but also enhance the capabilities of the platform by creating new project templates. We will explain the process uh, in, the, in this video. First, the trust modelers have to create one or more components. A Harmony component is essentially a transportation model or a transportation simulator that is encapsulated via a component from the perspective of the platform. For instance, we can see here four different components, one corresponding to the land use transport interaction model, another one corresponding to a demographic forecasting model, a third one regional economy model, and a fourth one corresponding to the tactical freight simulator. Each of those models has, of course, a name and a description, a model ID, which is important for the platform to know what would be run in the backend, and also a number of uh, inputs and outputs, which can be files, or numeric parameters. The transport modeler can create new components in the platform via either clicking on the Add Component button and specifying each and every of those inputs and outputs or uploading a JSON document with a specification. For instance, we can uh, have a look at the first component here in the list by clicking on the View button. We see that uh, apart from the name and description, it has 11 inputs that are needed and generates a number of outputs. The modeling suite uh, also provides uh, a, a way to visualize those inputs and outputs in graphs, as we can see here. In these graphs, uh, transfer model can zoom in and out, rearrange the uh, inputs and outputs of the model in the graph and have essentially an overview of what will be consumed and what will be generated when this particular component will be run by the platform. This overview is important for the next step, which is creating templates out of the available components. Now, a template is essentially a workflow for the platform that specifies which components will be run and in which order. It also specifies which of the outputs of a component will be used as input in the next component in the workflow. Here again, we see that there are four such templates. Um, we can as uh, transport modelers, 
very easily create new templates by either uploading the specification of a template in JSON, in JSON format or clicking on Add Template and providing a name for the template Uh, a description for the template an ID for the template this uh, is important for matching uh, to the it's important for the Harmony visualization dashboard so I will just call it a demo for now and here um, the user also specifies a number of tasks in the workflow. For instance, if we have a workflow of two tasks, then the user first specifies the first task by providing a model ID. This model ID corresponds to the components that are available in the platform. For instance, we can say that we first would like to run the component corresponding to the regional economy model, and then we would like to run the component corresponding to the tactical freight simulator in this uh, fixed issue scenario. The platform also offers uh, the uh, opportunity to the modelers uh, of having a visual overview of this workflow. If we click on save, then this component becomes available here in the list of templates. And also this template because becomes available here in the list of, the, of, of uh, project templates that can be used for creating new projects. This way, we are able to extend the functionality of the Harmony MS by creating new project templates and make them available for transport uh, planners to use.